Oh, you're right, guys. I got a double whammy for you today. Now, I've been using my one of my heat mats, seedling heat mats, to proof my bread. Proof in bread. It's the final rise. It's called the proof. It comes from the French, but I'm not going to try and pronounce that. So anyway, I went on Amazon looking for a heat mat, and I found this one. I'll tell you what, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, heat accelerator mat. Anyway, what it is, what it is... Right, just recovered the stuff that the wind blew away. And I've got my power supply as well. So, right, let's put that out of the way. I'm going to plug it in because it's curled up at the moment. Look, out of the box. It's going to... Uh, yeah, let's untangle it. Very tangly. There we go. I'll right, just plug it in for you. Okay, I've plugged it in. It's drawing 30 watts. 32 watts of them. I want it to warm up to flatten out a little bit. Right, back on track. I bought it because I'm using one of my seedling mats um, as a proofing, as a proofing mat. Just it just warms up a bowl, you know, it warms up your um your dough, helps with the rise and everything, you know. Anyway, I need my seedling mat back because I want to use it. So I looked on Amazon and this one was there, £16. Yeah, £15.99. I thought well, that's pretty cheap anyway for a mat, because they're normally well, normally 17 99 but this one comes with its own controller and its own built-in thermostat now it's not your um your pucker mega accurate thermostat it's just got six settings and they are i'll do it in celsius um 20 25 30 35 40 and 45. now apart from being ideal for seedlings you know 20 25 25 chilies maybe up to 30. it's also perfect for a proof in bread 30 25 or 30 ideal so um uh, yeah chuffed a bit and it's also got a timer um six time periods 4 8 12 16 20 24 hours and non-stop now seedlings you probably want it on non-stop but for proofing bread you leave it on four hours yeah i'll tell you what it's really really good like i said i'll leave a link below it's got a c mark it's got more importantly the uk ca mark um, yeah, 30 watt. Oh, and, and yeah, it's um, 20 by 10. So it fits one of those, um, what do you call it, uh, microgreen uh, flats. So that's just, that's setting down there. Right, now back onto the cooking side. So my old proofing box was made of cardboard, had a heat mat in it. It's all battered to pieces. I've used it so much. What I've done ooh, is I've bought a box, plastic box. Now, my intention was to use the box upside down like that. But I noticed the lid's got a few ripples in it, you know, like that. So I thought, well, do I really need it, need it upside down? Because I can reach in there easy enough. Yeah, no problem. So what I've done, I'm getting a bit inundated here with bits and pieces, and it's windy as heck. Oh. I got um, an oven liner. It's the right length, but it's too wide, so it's going to just fold it up the sides, that'll do. The mat goes in there, and this is going to protect the bottom plastic. I might have to find a, make a little notch somewhere for the, um, the power lead. The thermostat can stick on the side somewhere like that, so it's not touching the mat. And what I do then, put a tray in. So the tray is in there getting nice and warm. You can do your first and second rises in your bowl. And then when you shape your loaf, knock it into the tins. Tins fit perfect. And you can get you can get two in there, so you can do like a kilogram at a time, 900 grams or whatever. I think that is absolutely ideal. And it's also perfect for uh, raising and proofing your, um, your sourdoughs, you know. So I tell you what, I am really chuffed with this. The box was a fiver, the oven liner I had, the tray I had, the, the tins are mine anyway, that came from a charity shop at £1.50. Um, yeah, 16 quid for the thingy, so 21 quid, I've got my own proofing box. A decent proofing box as well. So I'm looking forward to using that. And um, what I should have done is set that on a higher setting, just to warm it up quicker. I want to get the mat flat, that's mat flat here. Yeah. 
Well, I hope, I, I hope that's pretty useful for you guys, you know, I mean, yeah, that's, that's all right, isn't it? The other thing as well is the box itself's big enough, the mat's big enough. If you wanted to, you could put a little tray in there for a um, bit of uh, humidity. One of those little Chinese takeaway containers, put it in there, a bit of warm water, keeps it nice and moist in there. Stops the top of the dough going all, uh, you know, air hardened. You can feel the heat, you can feel the warmth in there already. So I um, hope that's helpful you guys, you know, anyone who makes their own bread or any leaven product, anything that needs rising, you know, Chelsea buns or whatever. Yeah, brilliant. Right, I'm going indoors now because it is absolutely bitter out here. <sighs> Nearly time for the sun to come over. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Catch you soon.